hello guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while i know so much has happened so but today i'm gonna show you all what i've been up to um mostly how my daughter ended up in the hospital most lost her see how she's breathing If you listen closely, you can still hear like the congestion in there. So it's been a, I don't know. So they did an x-ray, they drew blood and now they put an IV on her. So to see if they can give her fluid, which is right here. So you all pray for her okay baby i hope she does better. Well, this is how she's been breathing for the past two days now so that's why we came to check in at the er which is emergency room Okay, baby. She has been so cranky. So I remember my daughter. My daughter went through this as well, but this one is more because my daughter. I gave birth to my daughter in September, so it's like the winter babies. I think I don't know. But my two sons, they were born in summer. And nothing like this happened so we'll see i hope all is well i hope we don't stay for the night because i don't know how much that will be because she doesn't have insurance hmm. oh god we'll see i know i know this is racking up already the money is almost at least because i know when i went to an er one time just for an ovarian cyst and they charged me um eight thousand dollars just to get an x-ray to see what's going on and nothing was prescribed the only one pain medication did they give me and that was it but it racked up to like eight thousand plus and now how huh, without insurance iv blood work um what else did they do um swab they swab her nose and with the doctor seeing her I know it's already wrapped up to a lot of money, but we'll see. We'll see. She's trying to sleep. I don't know the kind of... She's been congested and the way she breathes too. She, like, she also has a rapid breathing, nasal flaring um like um a lot of saliva or mucus coming out of her mouth um sneezing congestion it's just too much going on but i hope we don't sleep in the hospital that's my prayer so i hope she feels better so pray for us i'll keep you all updated now she's sleeping let me make sure she hasn't been eating too well so that's why they started the IV as well, but we'll see. I'm tired. I haven't eaten since morning. God of mercy. What time is it? I don't even know. It's 2.41 p.m. I am so tired and hungry. No snacks, nothing. We'll just run out the house. So, I gotta pee, but I can't pee. She won't she won't lay by herself. She wants to stick on my body. But that's the sacrifice. I'm gonna hold the pee for for now. I've been praying. It's overwhelming, but God is at work.
Let's see how her nose is flared up. She's having a hard time breathing, so the doctor said she might have RSV. And uh, he's going to put her on oxygen, nasal cannula, to see, to see if we can help her with her breathing. Her O2 start is good, though. It's 100 percent, but she's still having a hard time breathing. See her accessory muscles. She's so she's been running a fever as well. 101.3. That's what they got the last time. So fingers crossed. I hope she gets better. And now we're going to be admitted. That's what she said. We're going to be admitted upstairs. So we're waiting for the room to be ready. <sighs> oh, God. So now she has an oxygen on to help with her breathing. She has been crying and cranky and she don't like the nasal cannula in her nose. She's been trying to get it off and now she's on a bigger, um, they put a new um, bag of IV on her. So, it's scary, it's scary, I wouldn't lie to y'all. I'm here praying to God Almighty to take absolute control. I just hope after all this we can be checked out tomorrow or you know sooner. Um I'm tired, exhausted, overwhelmed. So the nurses have been nice. Because I haven't, since I haven't eaten since morning and I'm breastfeeding, I'm very hungry. So, one of the good nurse was, was so nice to go get me something to snack on. Um, the nurse wanted me to call her when the baby is done breastfeeding. Thank you.
So the baby is being transferred to her room right now. So that's where we're going. We're gonna be spending the night or more. Who knows? Only God can tell. They said to tell you, um, so we're still here and they're still monitoring her in the pediatric ICU. She's still fighting for her breath, to catch her breath, so. God help us, so that's all I can say. I'm tired. All I can do is pray. To the room when i came to the room they told me to order something so for breastfeeding months so i ordered me some burger and fries i already ate my cake because i didn't feel like eating but anyway i want to keep you all updated how much all these things <laughs> everything costs and they also gave me some wipes and diapers they have more though and then breast pump i don't know if i should i think i don't know if i should call my husband to bring mine i don't know how this one works but we've got we're gonna figure it out all righty i'll keep you all updated i'm tired exhausted Overwhelmed. Ooh. It's not easy. But I know we'll get through it. So this is day two. Um, we're waiting. I think the doctor came in and said for her to leave, it might take up to um until next week. So it's gonna be a couple of days before she we get discharged depending on how she does this girl taking trying to take her oxygen off she don't like it in your prayers guys please so this is our day too so I'm here I do my 
breast breast pumps thingy here. So and I sleep on this. So this is the bed. You can it goes all the way back there. So you take this off and then you lay down all the way. So. by they say by Monday or Tuesday earliest they can discharge us depending on how she does diagnosis was RSV and bronchitis so but so far God has been good she's doing much better than yesterday still breathing so I hope that will stop. She used to be on um, 14 liters of oxygen. Now she's on 8. So, her hubby brought me food. Oh, it's yummy. <laughs> Good morning, guys. again so cold in here guys <laughs> I'm wearing winter <laughs> winter stuff Some French toast. Some scrambled eggs and bacon. So I'm done eating. I'm gonna go. Um, I think I'm gonna pump first before I go take a bath. So when she wakes up, she'll have something to eat. She hasn't been latching well. Oh, she's, she's latching well, but she doesn't eat well, so I think I'm gonna find out how much she eats from the bottom Alright guys, I'll keep you all updated is the intensive care unit ICU um there's no bathroom or like private um room just like the patient for the patient to take a bath and all that so um it has to be outside outside the outside the area so I'm gonna Walk you through, and you'll see. Due to privacy purposes, I'm not gonna show anything like do while walking down the hall. Geriatric intensive unit. We're exiting. So it's right there. That's for the women. That's the men's. Hope somebody's not in here. So done taking the bath. She's it's feeding time. It's cute, the warm stuff she has. Gonna change you. Hey, baby.
doesn't eat well. So, well, she's still on fluid. She's hungry, but because she's congested. Hey, say hi. Say hi. So, because she's congested, she barely eats. So, I hope there will be an improvement on that. Yes, big old smile. There you go, beautiful. <laughs> there you go, little one. You are so cute. Give mommy a big smile. A big smile. Yes, a big old smile. <laughs> yes, I love you. Are we going to go home today or tomorrow? Quick, quick, quick. Do we go home? God has been good. Yes. Update. The nurse just came in and decreased her oxygen that she's getting to one liter so from 14 liters when we came in to one liter to one liter sorry see how god works god works in mysterious ways there's nothing like god so and she's breathing perfectly well better than two days ago yesterday and two. so today is better stress into um with breathing much anymore god god has been good god is good god is good she's watching tv she fell asleep watching tv so <laughs> hello guys so where look at her So we've been moved from ICU now where is she? So they moved us to a regular room where she can be monitored though. But like it's closer to the north, very close to the nursing station. Like the nursing station is right there in front of us. So in case of anything, so she is doing well. She's watching TV. She won't eat. <laughs> But she's still stuffed up, still sneezing, coughing, congested. But I'm so excited and glad, over, like overwhelmed with joy. Because when we started, it wasn't funny. So she transitioned real quick. Like God has been amazing to us. So we'll keep you all posted. So I hope we leave tomorrow. Sorry, baby. Or oh, it might be Tuesday. You never know. So, I'm tired. I had to go home a little bit, but I didn't even rest or anything. I have to take care of the kids. Do some laundry and some di do some dishes as well. So, and just run out again so I can come feed her. <sighs> it's been a journey, 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 journey. But I'm always thankful. Always thankful. But we'll keep you all updated. If we're going to be here till tomorrow or Tuesday, I don't know. But we'll see. Have a blessed night. You say hi? You say hi? Yes, you did a good job. You have grown. So <laughs> I know. You did a good job, baby. You are getting well. You are getting well. You are little, little now.
so she's having just a little congestion here and there so um but so far all has been well we thank god for everything um i don't know i hope they will be they will be this today but if not possibly tomorrow because she's doing so well she's off her oxygen she's still getting antibiotics um through her IV. they took the one on her hand off because she kept moving and the thing came out so it was leaking so they decided to put him on the leg so but i like the view shows us the garage and with that little with that right there A little <laughs> this hospital is beautiful but it's children that's what it's called cook's children guys a quick update the pulmonologist came in and said we can be sent home to gonna be discharging us today by his grace I hope nothing else comes because they say she sounds really good silly silly girl I am so happy. <laughs> you don't even know. She scared the out of me. Hmm? So she's getting her IV. I guess after that we'll be going home. I don't know yet, but oh, super excited! Getting out of here. I miss my babies. All right. Let me go take a bath. I'll see you all soon. Hi, just checking in. Do you need anything? No, no. Thank you. So, hello, guys. We are packed and ready to check out. So, the packing stuff, um, all our stuff are down there. I'm about to eat. Food is right here. Let's see what they brought. Pancake, syrup, and sausage. So with some fruits and a drink. Let's see if we can see it. So the nurse is going to do her paperwork or whatever, get her paperwork done. We'll have a hash brown. But while she's doing the paperwork, I'm going to be eating. So when she brings it in, I'm just going to go get the car ready. We'll check out of here. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. It's been a... I cannot fathom. I cannot thank God enough for what he has done. She's still sleeping. Like, she's out of it. God has been good. Good, good, good. Just a little congestion and some coughing. But he did it for us. So I am so happy, guys. We'll be checking out. So, so the So I'm going to pick up the car first and then I'll pick up the baby. But look at this building. It's huge. This sidewalk is beautiful. Look at all this. This, uh, this is Cook's children. Oh boy. Christmas lights are up already. This is a beautiful hospital. I have to go find the emergency garage. That's where I parked the car. Whew. I'm tired. My stuff. So after this, I'll go pick up the baby. 
before I come because they won't let me take the baby at the same time. Woo! Found the car. So finally, finally found the car. So I'll be driving back to go pick up the baby now. Woo! I'm tired. Have to find uh, my way back. Excuse me. So that's the turkey. Okay, the hook. I'm going this way. Look at that beautiful place. Ooh. Anyway. So it says no parking and all that. I'm going to tell the valet because I need to pick up the baby from here. It's quite closer. Ever coming back to the hospital in Jesus. <laughs> so we love you all. Ooh. We're here. So we're leaving. Mm -hmm. We're leaving. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. I hope I hope you all enjoyed the video but in every situation always put God first always thank God always ask God for everything prayers do have like prayers there's nothing like prayers so thank God for everything she's doing well she's one year old now and she's bubbly so thank you all for watching have a blessed day